In the opening of the film, we witness a couple strolling through an expansive white-colored room. Everything in this room is white. Actually, a doctor is conducting an experiment on them. The experiment requires them to live in the room for 50 days without coming out. If they do this, they will receive 40 crores as a reward. However, if either of them gives up, they will go empty-handed. They won't receive anything, and no one except them will be allowed to live in the room. Furthermore, they will not be able to talk to anyone or meet anyone. They will not have any sources of enjoyment, such as a TV or a mobile phone. Despite this, they are happy in the room. They believe that this is the easiest way to earn money. The couple begins to talk to each other. The girl, Kate, says, I will fulfill all of my dreams with this money, 40 crores. Meanwhile, her husband says that he will spend the money on parties. I'll enjoy it a lot, and we'll have so much money, that there will be no issue of money shortage. After a while, they hear a sound of a robotic device. That begins to tell them the rules of this place that how they've to live here. Whatever they had to keep in mind, and what should not be done was also notified. There was only one bed, a bench, and an ordinary washroom. Along with this, a small size screen was also placed on the wall. In which all the rules for living in this room were mentioned. That includes that only one person could use the washroom at once. There was also a red button on the wall, from anyone could go out after pressing it and giving up. Along with this, they could order food by pressing the screen. Also, a big watch was placed there too, in which their 50 days timer was running. A big size box also comes for them there, that has their daily based edible items. As the night turns out, the lights turn off automatically, and were also turned on in the morning. The device keeps on telling them the present time by announcing, is it going to be the morning time, evening, or night? The purpose was that you must rest because it is now going to be night. They were given the facility that they can set the alarm to. Kate's husband, Mike lives there in a way as his holidays are going on. For this reason, he used to sleep late at night. Whereas Kate settles the alarm, so she could wake up early in the morning. And could make up her routine, so the time of these 50 days could be passed. Now, they spend their first night in this room. When it becomes morning, Kate goes to take bath. She tells herself in front of the mirror, no matter what happens, we have to win this challenge by staying here for 50 days. After taking bath, she puts her dress in the laundry to wash. They're also given simple dresses to wear but were colorful. While having fun, they say thank God. We've at least got colorful dresses. After some time, Kate tells Mike why the doctor wants this experiment. Mike tells her that I don't know anything about this. I only know that we've to stay here for 50 days and have to get the reward of 40 crore dollars. Both of them try to engage them to spend their time. Kate practices yoga to help her become calm and relaxed. Whereas, Mike was staring at the watch on which the timer for 50 days was running. He begins to think about the strange things while sitting there. Like why the walls of this room are painted white. Kate tries to make him understand not to think about this all. Also not to stare at the watch. Just think about the time to spend here, and the money in reward. But it was difficult for him to do. Because he wasn't fulfilling his sleep for the last few days. Whereas Kate performs all of her tasks according to routine from day to night. And asks Mike for running, to divert his attention from the watch. On one side, Kate was having yoga, and Mike was running. Later, they begin to play childish games to spend time, and begin to dance, as they put their clothes in the laundry to wash. They again get similar dresses to wear. Now, many weeks pass in this way. After a few days, Mike finds an insect in this room. He begins to talk to it and thinks to feed it. But as he puts a few drops of the milkshake on the floor, sound of the robotic device begins to hear and says not to do this. This food is just for both of you. Mike grows anxious and communicates with the device, saying, if we can't feed it the food, then take my word. I am pressing the red button, so it could go out, otherwise, it will die of hunger. Seeing this, Kate begins to convince him, look, the robotic device will not come again to stop us. It has gone after stopping us, so don't do this. He says whatever it is, I'm concerned about this insect. Otherwise, this poor insect will die here. Saying this, he begins to go to the red button. They begin to argue. Kate says after pressing the button, we'll lose this challenge. Then, we'll send out of this place with nothing. Mike says, I know but I'm not going outside, I'm just sending this insect out. Mike says later after putting the insect aside, Kate, this is an insect, don't you feel pity for this? Kate warns him that you will ruin the entire game for this tiny insect. You've gone crazy, after saying this, she begins to go, but a bug suddenly comes under her feet and dies. She is shocked and apologizes to Mike after realizing what has happened, 
saying, I'm sorry, I didn't do this intentionally, it happens accidentally. Mike, doesn't believe her and spends his entire day in this room, sitting in the corner. According to the rule of this room, right now, they are only permitted to buy two things, those will come from outside, and the money will be charged from their money. That will be a huge sum of money. Mike tells her, I'm going to order my first thing. He, however, forbids him and says, don't you recall how much of our money will be consumed, if we order anything from outside? One lakhs dollars, so please don't do this. But despite this, Mike doesn't listen to her, and goes to buy his first thing. He gets a green colored chalk, and after seeing it Mike says, oh what I have received, nothing is going to happen with this, but at least I could paint on the walls and pass the time. When Kate notices him drawing, she asks him to make a painting for her. He begins to paint, and after a while, Kate leaves because she is bored, but he continues to sketch until the chalk runs out. He makes many drawings in the bathroom and on the walls outdoors in this manner. Later, Kate apologizes to Mike for her behavior after approaching him. The good news for them is that they have now spent 20 of the remaining 50 days. One day, Kate discovers a gun in the bathroom, both of them become astonished to see how it got there. They hold it, and hid it under the bed. According to the device, there should be nothing in the laundry except the dresses. After some days, they're given a small gift that shows their family's video messages. Mike sees his sister's message that tells him, she and her mom and dad are totally fine, so don't worry about us. After seeing his sister, Mike becomes happy. But Kate feels quite upset when she is shown her father's video message. Her father replies, I don't live on the road, I live in a house. Kate wants to stop the video, but it has not been stopped despite her requests. Later, after going near the washroom, she begins to cry loudly. Later, Mike arrives and soothes her, and they both fall asleep. As it becomes morning, Kate doesn't leave the bed. She was still sleeping because her health becomes worse and because of tension. When Mike asks the reason for not waking up, she tells that I became emotional because of seeing my dad after many years. I always spoke lie that I don't have my dad, because I was ashamed of him, he used to drink a lot and didn't pay my school fee. Later, Mike tells her to leave this all, and do you know, we've only two weeks left here. After listening to his statement, Kate doesn't become happy and was still in bed. He tries many ways to make her feel better but it was all useless. Later, he lies down after coming to her, but Kate doesn't bother with this. The next day, he tells Kate why don't we buy our last thing, to end up the boredom. But Kate stops him by saying, no, you've already spoiled the money, by buying that useless chalk. So, don't do this because I don't want to lose more money now. After hearing this, he becomes sad. After some time, Kate comes to Mike after leaving her bed and says, you are allowed to order the other item as well. No matter how much money we lose, Mike orders the other thing when he touches the screen later. Immediately, the door of another room opened. After that, a girl enters inside who hasn't worn the dress. As she comes inside, Mike becomes shocked to see her. She tells him that I even don't know why I've sent him here. I only received money for this, and I must stay in this room with you for 24 hours. After witnessing her in this condition, Kate implores Mike to remove his shirt and give it to her so that she can cover herself a little. When the girl sees Mike's paintings on the wall, she appreciates them. After seeing this, Kate becomes angry. At night, Mike asks both of the girls to sleep on the bed, and he sleeps on the floor. But the girl begins to behave strangely with Mike. Kate becomes angry as a result, and she makes Mike sleep with her on the bed. And she sleeps between them and she couldn't make herself calm for the whole night, and she was irritated by her. When she woke up, she sees the girl wasn't on the bed. She thinks that she has gone but when she goes to the washroom, she sees that the girl hasn't gone yet but is still in the washroom. She was taking bath and she has again put off her dress. Kate says nothing even unwillingly and bears her. Later, three of them begin to dance in the room around them. After doing this, Mike enjoys a lot that he goes into the world of dreams, and he sees black color around his four sides. After this, he sees himself drowning in the water. He sees his younger brother as well who is also drowning in the water with him. After seeing this, he becomes quite upset. Meanwhile, Kate and the girl approach him and bring him to his senses. He was still upset and begins to cry. He was constantly saying to save his younger brother from drowning. Later, Kate calms him down and makes him sleep on the bed. Later, the girl asks Kate about how she and Mike met. Kate tells her that I and Mike met in the rain. I didn't have umbrella and Mike saved me from being wet. Now, they keep on talking while sitting in this way. After a while, Mike wakes up and sits with the girl. Kate was not present there, and they begin to talk about their lives. 
the girl tells him I lost my mother in childhood. Later, after sharing their family problems, they support each other. They develop a good bond of friendship. Later, the girl after holding Mike's hand, asks him to swing his mood and make himself calm. In a while, Kate arrives from behind, and notices both of them while holding each other's hands. Seeing it, her anger was increased. Because she was bearing their closeness for a long time, she tells the girl that you wanted to trap my husband from the start. And wanted to take him from me. Hearing this, the girl begins to get angry with her. She says you're a strange girl, you don't have a little trust in your husband. Alas, and later, their argument increases and they begin to yell at each other. After being fed up, Mike yells at them and asks them to keep quiet. And then, he begins to go from there. The next day, when they woke up, Mike wasn't feeling well. His health wasn't going well, and the girl was also gone. Before going, she has written a message for Mike. It was written, no one has ever loved me as you did Mike. Kate begins to get angry with Mike after showing this message to him. Shaw says, you're a deceiver and you're deceiving me as well. Hearing this, Mike says that there is nothing like this, whatever she has written is wrong. Whatever is going on in this room is intentional, so we could fight. And we could give up but still, Kate doesn't listen to it. She pushes him and as a result of this, Mike's head hits the wall. His head begins to bleed, and he becomes angry to see it. He goes away from Kate and says I didn't deceive you, even when you went after leaving the city. I always wanted that you don't feel alone, and stay happy. Because of this, I left to meet my friends. I've given you the time, even I left my studies. I didn't leave you when you live in Tesnian. What I receive in reward, your suspicion, and hatred. Hearing this, Kate feels ashamed. She says please forgive me, I didn't do this intentionally. I did this in anger. Meanwhile, Mike feels something. He falls down and says I don't feel well, and I need a doctor. She brings milkshake for him, and wraps a towel around his head. So, his head can't bleed, and she says everything is provided in this room. But there is no facility for medicine to be given, isn't it strange? Mike doesn't believe her words after hearing this. He says, do you really feel concerned about my injury? What happens if you hit me hard in anger and I die? You become greedy enough that you can kill me. Such money went to hell that makes a person forget about their identity. I hate this room, and I'll not stay here even for a while. And I'll go out, and she stops him from going out. She takes the gun that they found from the washroom. She warns Mike while pointing her gun at him, if you try to go out, I'll shoot you. Mike presses the red button after ignoring her. Later, the door opens and he goes out of the white room. After his departure, Kate feels alone and begins to cry. And she sleeps there, and when she wakes up she doesn't feel good. She was quite sad, and begins to miss him after seeing his drawings. Now, only two days were left for Kate in this room, and she could win this challenge. She also realizes her mistake, so she also goes out after pressing the red button. After some time, we see Mike who was running, and while running he passes from Kate's building. He suddenly comes up with Kate on his way. Later, we learn that after coming out of the room, they didn't meet for months. Because they were angry, now after moving on they decide to patch up and begin to go to a hotel for the meal. On the way, Mike asks Kate have you completed that challenge? Or you've come out after pressing the red button. She doesn't respond and stays silent. She says that I've misbehaved with you, so please forgive me. Later, when both of them went, we see a note on a building. It was written, a famous man has made this room, but his identity remains unknown. According to it, we can say that one shouldn't be greedy. Because greed leads to evil, in which we can lose our loved one. As Mike and Kate lost each other for a while, the man could have an intention to make this room, humans can become better by luring them. Because when humans will spend time there, many inner qualities of them will reveal. When their greed ends up, and they'll realize their mistake, they'll learn from it, and will never greed again. Later, we see a couple in the same room, who came like Kate and Mike to fulfill this challenge. They were quite happy as Kate and Mike were happy. Now, the question is whether they will rise to this challenge, or will return empty-handed like them after giving up. Or will they also realize their mistake? The film ends with this question.